This tutorial is for people that own a Vonage device. I love the use of Vonage for the low cost of calls, of course, and quality seems to be alright. But what bothers me is you have to have it plugged up directly to your phone or close to. There's two lines here that you can plug up to two different phones, but this has to be pretty close to your phone, which kind of sucks. So I came up with a little hack for it that will make your Vonage work for your entire house in all your wall plugs. So check this out. So the first thing you're going to need is, of course, Vonage. Second thing, of course, a subscription to it, because it does cost. So once you have it all hooked up, I'm not going to go into technical details how it's hooked up, you know. Uh, the blue right here to the internet, right here. This is used also as a... I guess router too, so if you wanted to hook up your Vonage to your router, to another computer, etc. But uh, we're only going to be messing with line 1 today, but it is possible to do it for the whole house if you have maybe two lines on your house. So what you need is a very long phone cord. So mine is probably about 15-20 to 20 feet hanging out the window here. So what you want to do is find the box for your phone uh, from your phone company to uh, distribute it through into your entire house. Now you're gonna have to find a box on the side of your house that looks something like this. Yours will vary depending on your house model and etc. The insides will also vary but really it's about the same shit. So what you're gonna do, yours is gonna look a little different. Most likely you're gonna have one of these plugged into here like so and then all these cables going in here. Well, you can get rid of just about all of that because you're not using the phone company's uh, line anymore. The phone company's line will be located somewhere over here with the cable going down into the ground or like mine which is going down into a tube and into the ground. But anyways, you're going to try to find your line, which I have two here. Let me zoom in. I have one that goes directly into the wall and I guess up into my house and I know I have another one that goes around my house and goes to the downstairs so I know I have two separate lines for my house so what you're going to need to do is take that long cord from the vonage that you have upstairs and split it open when you split it open you're going to notice that you have four wires obviously uh, yellow, green, black and red the colors may vary, but all you have to do is just match them up. So, what I did is uh, I split apart the Vonage uh, phone cord that is upstairs, and I also split apart the uh, phone cord for the house that, well, basically used to plug into here to give service to the entire house. So, also, you would want to verify before doing any of this that uh, you are connecting to the right phone cord because you don't know where all the, these cords are. It took me for a while to find them. But uh, try to make sure that uh, you are hooking up to the right line. Like mine, this one goes all the way around the house on the outside of the building so I know it goes downstairs. So what you want to do is uh, connect all these. First you're going to of course have to strip them. So make sure you have some kind of means of stripping. Uh, if you don't, you can always use your teeth. Not the best way because you might get shocked, but oh, like that. Oh, Ugh. yeah, that's not the best thing to do it while it's hooked up because it will give you a little shock. It's nothing deadly, but it will uh, tingle. But anyway, okay, so I stripped them all, and all you have to do is match up all the colors. So let me match up yellow to yellow. Okay, and I got some tape out here. Some electrical tape I was going to use to keep everything secure. Let's go ahead and do that.
I'm sure if you'd be doing it to your house, you'd make it a little bit more secure with little twisty ties and whatnots, but I don't care. As long as it works. Oh, my neighbor's leaving. So, after you secure the yellow, move on to the next color that you see. So, I'm going to see yellow, and then I'm going to see black. So, match up the black. I want to say that not all the colors are needed for the phone cord, but I'm not sure because it's different than actual landline that is a Vonage VOIP, so you might need more. I'm sure if you Google some some of this, you'd get a better answer. But since I have not seen any YouTube videos for this, I decided to show the world how to make Vonage just a little bit less of a pain in the ass. So, I've got two more wires to go.